burrito totally fell apart. Oh no. stopped at a little stoplight for a long time and we opened up the windows and I feel a little bit better. She's a real soldier. Soldier. She's just soldiering up. That's what I'm doing. All right, so right now we're headed to Chromatic Coffee. Look how happy Hunter is. He's ready for some food. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Hunter said I should vlog about me getting nauseous. Let him know the details of the trip. <laughs> The struggle is real. The struggle is real. We went to Chromatic Coffee, Hunter got his coffee. Now we're at Freedom Burrito eating burritos. <laughs> Listening to My Heart Will Go On. Watching Hunter chow down. I tried to get a healthy burrito. Is there such a thing? Mmm. Oh no. <gasps> Your burrito falls apart. His burrito totally fell apart. That's why you got here like that. Uh, my burrito fell apart. <laughs> I think we're trying to eat it here. Yeah, we almost ate these in the car. That would have been a disaster. All right, we're gonna eat these burritos. Okay, guys, we're back in the car, heading to the stadium, and Hunter's trying the chromatic coffee. And so I've already tried the chromatic coffee and I've never had anything like this. I've had a lot of coffees and I've seen a lot of descriptors and most of the time you sip the coffee and you're like ooh, okay I can maybe see that descriptor. The descriptors of this coffee is blueberry pancake <laughs> and it tastes like a blueberry pancake. What kind of coffee tastes like a blueberry pancake? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm tasting blueberry pancakes right now. I know you can't taste it, but think about blueberry pancakes. And it's delicious, and it's not good for you. And then think about coffee. It's good for you. <laughs> but it tastes like a blueberry pancake. Hell yeah, let's play some ball. That's it, that's all I got. Blueberry pancakes. Straight. I'm so happy. He did, he said, it tastes like a blueberry pancake. I've been in a British accent before. Tastes like a blueberry pancake. I don't know, that's, that's how it came out. It was pretty funny, you know, but I gotta get the, I gotta get the camera out for this. It tasted it though, you can It did, it did taste like a blueberry like pancake. Like it's wild. You're right. So I think tomorrow we're gonna go and do a review on them. So and there's stay tuned nothing for that. to do it. It's just coffee. It's just black coffee. Awesome. Well done. Like, berries and cream? How do we 
steal from blueberry pancakes to berries and cream. <laughs> Yeah, that Freedom Burrito was pretty good. Although I did get like a chunk of jalapeno and I was like. <laughs> That's how you know it's legit. Yeah, I was dying. It was awesome. But it was good. It was very good. Freedom Burrito. Well, I was gonna say it's like watch him go off to the first day of school, but Colton scared the bejesus out of me. Holy spamoli. Oh, my heart is racing. <laughs> Came out of nowhere, was not expecting that. <laughs> okay guys, so my friend Ray told me that there was a cool Japanese garden across the street, a friendship Japanese garden. So I walked here, it was literally across the street, but look it, the Japanese friendship garden is closed due to flood damage. We apologize for any inconvenience. It's a huge inconvenience, friendship zen garden. So much for our friendship. So I'm just gonna walk around this giant park, get in some steps, even though I'm not wearing an iWatch or a Fitbit. Okay, so I tried to get into the historical museum, but it's all closed, it's gated. I didn't walk all the way down there. So now I'm just sitting on this wonderful bench. I've never been so happy to see a bench. And my friend Ray is coming to pick me up, and I'm gonna try and talk him into getting Slurpees, because it's so hot. Oh, here he is. That was an easy bribe to get ready to get a Slurpee. <laughs> but also, we did, I made him buy, he's never done scratchers before. Something about the smell in 7-Eleven just makes me want to buy a scratcher. So I made him buy his two scratchers. And I was like, my treat, I got him. I went to go charge it. You can't buy scratchers with a credit card, you have to buy it with cash. I had no idea. So, Ray treated us to <laughs> scratchers. He was like, which ones do you want? I said, I don't know, it's been forever since I bought these, so. And I think you scratch to hopefully get a match. You only need one match then, right? Match any of your numbers to any of the three winning numbers. Yeah, you only need one match. I got the lucky penny. That's what the guy at 7-Eleven told me. This is not looking good. Nope. <laughs> well, I got one! Shut up. Yeah! I won three dollars. <laughs> no way, you guys! I got one. <laughs> Ray's ferociously. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna go back in and cash this bad boy in, <laughs> dude. I won a. No, I didn't. I won ten dollars. <laughs> you guys, I won ten dollars. This is the you best day ever. dollars. <laughs> Give me that penny. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Nothing? Nada. Ah! What if you won a million dollars right now, Ray? Would you go crazy? It's probably not. Really? Oh my god, I won again! I won another ten dollars! <laughs> I won twenty three dollars! It's awesome, it pays for the scratchers! <laughs> well, we just got our new cards instantly. Oh, so you have two times to win a hundred. Instant, yeah. Wait. Shut up. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> I was about to be like, I love San Jose. Everyone come to the 7-Eleven on Tully and Center. Oh my God. <laughs> Ray's here tomorrow buying all the scratchers. <laughs> Sometimes you get really lucky with the 23 bucks, you know? Like that. And then other times not so much. Dang it. I'm gonna let you do this one, Ray. The Loteria. They don't even have the Spanish names for them. Blame. <laughs> How do you say frog? Uh, no. Wait, rana. Rana. Scorpion. The scorpion. <laughs> Alacran? The pitcher. El pitcher. Casuela? Casuela. I don't know. You're, <laughs> you're the one that speaks it fluently. The star. Estrella. The palm. El palm. Palma? Palma? Sure. Well guys, at least we won one card. Second chance drawing. Enter it on the app. Maybe you enter that number or something. Ray went from never doing a scratcher to now all of a sudden he's mailing stuff in. Yeah, go for it. You want mine too? Do we'll you need try. this one? We'll try it. Oh yeah, we'll try it. Maybe we'll win. You're right. We'll get back to you guys. Yeah. Now my Slurpee's all melted. <laughs> mine too. <laughs> oh gosh, we're a hot mess right now guys. All frazzled because we were gambling middle of the day on a, what day is it? Wednesday. Wednesday. 
<laughs> Wednesday like 4 o'clock we're gambling in the parking lot of 7-Eleven. <laughs> now we're headed to get tacos. Hood we're tacos. Hood tacos, hood. not just any tacos. Hood tacos. So excited. Apparently I have to order in Spanish. So I've been practicing. What is it? Quiero más tacos. Quiero. Or, well, depends on what you want. Well, what do I want? Luigi, asada. Asada? Oh, that's easy. Quiero tres tacos asada, por favor. Quiero tres tacos de asada, por favor. When I used to live in Spain, I used to say quiero. When I was trying to think of what I wanted to say next, when a waiter would come, quiero. I still do that. Agua. <laughs> it would buy me some time, you know? Quiero tres tacos de asada, por favor. How's my accent? It's better than a lot of people I know. Really? Quiero tres tacos de asada, por favor. Nailed it. Here we go. Hood tacos. Here we come. No cebolla on mine. What? <laughs> oh, God. So nine tacos. No onions. Okay. Lemon tacos de asada. No cebollas. Right? Nueve tacos de asada. No cebolla. No cebollas, por favor. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Hood tacos. Look who joined us. You need a bottle of Coke. You can't have hood tacos without a bottle of Coke. I know, I got a water. I want to show you guys the lineup for tonight. Batting third at number 10, Hunter Peck. Is that wearing mine? To see Hunter? We don't have anything to sign. But a bottle? A bottle of water, maybe? The San Jose Giants have gone to Congress by the Vacuum Bomber Brothers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. San Jose Giants. Have them sign a ticket. And we see $15 off. I think he keeps the pet. By the Bucket is located on Stephen uh, Street Boulevard in the heart of Santa Clara. Family owned and operated since 1959. So, how is it meeting your husband? Less nervous now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Pina Hype. How are you? Pina Hype here in San Jose. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? I know, how funny. Your 2017 San Jose. Thank you, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. All right guys, so the game is finished. The San Jose Giants won. Go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below if you've ever done a scratch off or if you've ever wanted to do a scratch off and if you ever won and how much. I know that's a lot of comments. Just tell me how much you've won if you've won. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so because we post videos here every single week. And I'll see you guys in the chat. Bye!